All right, so tree diagrams, sometimes they're easy and sometimes they're a little bit hard, a little bit complicated. I think on your test, it might get a little complicated, but we'll go through them and hopefully you'll be okay. Um, make sure for this test, I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time, I'll probably go through the test and make a video. So make sure that you know what you're, make sure you watch it. Jeez, just make sure you watch it. All right, tree diagrams and the general multiplication rule. So this is the same exact thing that we were just looking at. We're just gonna put a visual to it, okay? So instead of just having the formula, you're gonna get to see it. Tennis great Roger Federer made 63% of his first serves in the 2011 season. When he made his first serve, he won 78% of the points. When Federer missed his first serve, he had to serve again. He won only 57% of the points. Suppose we randomly choose a point on which Federer served. Below is a tree diagram. We haven't done it yet, but it'll be there. That shows this chance process. There are only two possible outcomes on his first serve, a make or a miss. The first set of branches in the tree diagram displays these outcomes with their probabilities. The second set of branches shows the two possible results of the point for Federer win or lose and the chance of each result based on the outcome of the first serve. So note that the probabilities on the second set of branches are conditional probabilities. And we're gonna get to this, we're gonna make it. Like the probability of winning a point given that he made his first serve, bless you, which was 0.78. All right, so in the very beginning, I'm gonna leave this up here so you can kind of see it. Tennis great Roger Federer made 63% of his first serve. So here's his first serve. He either makes or he misses. He either makes or he misses. How many does he make his first time? First sentence, 63%. So we're going to put a 0.63. So that means he misses how many? Less. 37. How'd you get 37? Mm -hmm. 63 minus 100 or 100 minus 63 is 37. All right, so then the next sentence says, when he made his first serve, so here's our make the first serve, he can either win the point or lose the point. Same thing, if he misses his first serve, he can either win the point or lose the point. This is the ones they're talking about are conditional because it depends on what happened in the first to get to this line, okay? So that's where they're talking about it's conditional. All right, so it says when he made his first serve, he won 78% of his points. So when he got his first serve, he won how much? 78, so that means how many did he lose? 22. Doesn't matter where that goes as long as it's on that line. But when he missed his first serve, when he missed his first serve, he won only 57. So how much goes on the win? How much goes on the loss? All right, so there's your tree diagram. Y'all understand how it's made, right? Okay, so they gave that to you in the book. I just wanted you to see one made. You are going to have to make one. Okay, you're going to have to be able to make them. What's the probability that Federer makes the first serve and wins the point? From the tree diagram, he makes how many of his first serves? 63%. Of this 63%, he wins the point how many times? 78% of the time. 
Perfect. Because 78% of 63%. You sure? What's your name? Okay. All right. No, it's okay. Give up. You're going to multiply it just like you do any other percentage. 0. 0.78 times 0. 0.63 is going to give you 0. 0.4914. So Federer makes his first serve and wins the point about 49.14% of the time. Give me one more minute. He's really, really good. <laughs> yeah. All right. The previous calculation amounts to multiplying probabilities along the branches of the tree diagram. Why does this work? The general multiplication rule. So Rachel, listen to this. Are you ready? The probability that he makes his first and wins is the probability that he makes, that's where that 63 came from, times, now we have to have that conditional because we made the condition that it was given that he won or that he made the first one. And that's where your formula comes from. So it might be a little bit easier to look at it from there than it is to like have to... Um, proof it out or whatever that we just did. So 0. 0.63 was what we did times that 0. 0.78, which gave us the 49.14%. So when Federer is serving, what's the probability that he wins the point from the tree diagram? There are two ways he can win the point. He can make the first serve and win the point, or he can miss the first serve and win the point. And because these outcomes are mutually exclusive, why are they mutually exclusive? You can't do both. You can't do both what? He can't do both what? Win and lose the point or make and miss the serve. He can't do it at the same time. So it's one or the other. So since they are mutually exclusive and we're trying to find the or probabilities, we have to add those together. So the first one that we got, he makes and wins or what happens if he misses? What's my percentage of miss? What's my percentage of miss? 0.37, thanks Chandler. And then that he does win the point. What's my percentage that he does win the point given that he misses? You don't have to do the work. I'm gonna show you 0.7023. So he wins, there's where your better percentage comes out, 70.23% of the time. We're going to stop there and we'll pick back up. Do as much of that homework as you can. Do as much as you can. But I would not turn it in tonight. I don't think you're going to be able to do the rest of it. You can try, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do too much. Okay, so do as much as you can. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing and stop recording.